Welcome to the second part of the video about how to carry out the distillation process on copper alembic. Remember that distilling alcohol at home is illegal and this video is only for the educational purposes. Today we will discuss the stage of the second distillation, so we will divide the distillate into fraction such as heads, hertz and tails. I will also show you how to increase the efficiency by correctly dividing the distillate. Let's get started. Alcohol, which we obtain in the first part of the video, we pour into the alembic. To make the second distillation process run more efficiently, we will add 1.5 quart of 130 proof alcohol. To make it easier, to maintain a stable temperature during the distillation. So, 2 quarts of 80 proof alcohol and 1.5 quart of 130 proof alcohol goes into the alembic. Then add some water, so alcohol in our alembic is about 40 proof. The stronger we make it, then the stronger alcohol we will receive. And it will also increase speed of reception. At the beginning, however I recommend to water down everything to about 40 proof, because it is easier to divide the alcohol into fractions. Installation and sealing the alembic and the accessories I showed in the first part of the video, so in the description below I will leave the link. So let's skip that and go directly to the part when we start to collect alcohol. As we can see, at the beginning of distillation, the alcohol strength is about 150 proof, so it's 20 proof more than during the first distillation. If the strength of alcohol pured in the alembic was higher, the received alcohol would be also stronger. However, when making whiskey, rum, or other flavored liquor, alcohol strength is not the most important element. We don't have to pure out the so-called blind or metal alcohol because it was removed during the first distillation. So we can start to receive fraction called head. Heads are substances that have lower boiling point than ethanol. These are esterns, octan, aldehydes and simply speaking substances that smells like a solvent or nail polish remover. We do not add them to the final product. To separate them properly, pure the first 7 ounces into the container. These amounts depend of many factors, so when dividing fractions, it's best to follow the smell and taste. After puring the first 7 ounces, we collect alcohol in smaller vessels. At the end of the distillation, we will be able to determine if we want to add their content to the final product. When the taste and aroma of alcohol become visibly milder and the strength of the received alcohol decreases, we can start receiving the so-called herd. This is the best part of alcohol we get during the distillation process. Perfect for aging in oak barrels. Reception is carried out until the strength of alcohol received drops to around 80 proof. And then we start to receiving tails. But this is also depend of many factors. For example, the equipment we are using. We should be guided by the taste and smell. In many types of alcohol, some tails are simply advisable. When we confirm that we are starting to receive tails, it is worth carrying out the collection to the smaller vessels. After the distillation, we will be able to add them to the final product. We collect tails until the strength drops to about 40 proof. When all the alcohol is already collected, it is now necessary to decide which parts of heads and tails go to the herds, as in the whole process we are guided by the taste and smell of alcohol. As for the smell, between the samples you can smell roast coffee beans that refresh the smell. When it comes to taste, it is worth diluting the alcohol sample with water to better reflect the aroma. After mixing three different fractions in the right proportions, we obtain two quarts of 130 proof alcohol, which can be pured into the oak barrel or diluted to the preferred strength. And after a few days, as the flavor combine, the alcohol is ready. We also received about one quart of heads and tails that can be added to the next distillation. If you like the movie, leave the thumbs up and a comment. I also invite you to subscribe the channel.